Hey everybody, it's John DiPietro. I am over at Majors RV. It's their spring open house. I'm looking around and uh, Jeff can't talk with us this time because he and Hannah are trying to uh, go online and check out their Facebook page. <laughs> uh, but we do have some other people Dave here. And um, <laughs> Hey, I think I see David. David. Uh, hey there, gang. Anything special going on, David? Uh, just, just a little sale going on. That's, you know, we got our, our big open house going on t today and tomorrow. Yeah. 10 to 40% off everything in the store with the uh, spin the Majors RV wheel of savings. Right, anything else going on? Uh, I, I I don't think so. Okay, because I, I, I read somewhere on Facebook that it might be somebody's birthday. Any idea who that could be? Oh, oh, John, you remembered my uh, birthday. I remembered. That's fabulous. I remember. I, I, you know what? The only thing I'm glad for, and, and we'd be kicked off Facebook, is if you were in a diaper. Oh, oh. You know, <laughs> if there was a stork carrying you with a diaper. But uh, The old baby New Year, I think that would be. I, exactly, so. exactly. Sure. So um, this takes guts to go around your own store like this. You're risking uh, many years of, of um, credibility. Yeah, you, you, you've got to enjoy the day. Right. Now, Zagami it's, just... It's, it's, Zagami just clicked on here. Bob, can you believe David is... Um, We're fully prepared for the birthday celebration. <laughs> and it'll be multiple days, too. Yes, we have multiple, multiple days. Multiple parties, multiple days. Okay, so I interrupted you. You were talking to a longtime customer over here, this gentleman here, who uh, is, is, is just got back from Florida, right? Correct. And you come here. Why do you come here? Well, for the service to begin with, but my birthday is right around the corner. My daughter makes me come down here to pick out something for my birthday. So what do you get? Whatever. I what do you got in your hand? Oil filter. Oil filter. <laughs> the perfect He's birthday gift. He's a cheap gift. date. <laughs> He's a cheap date. I come here for my own quality parts. <laughs> okay. So for your generator. For my generator. For your generator, okay. Um, you said you come here for the service. I'm sure that if you've been coming here for years, there must be something about the service here that other dealerships uh, in other facilities can't provide for you. What, what would that be? Uh, warranty work on uh, some items that I've had in my RV and uh, the quality work and the, the time frame in which, are, in which they're accomplished. Right, and you have an owner that uh, has kind of got a sense of humor when he's dressed like this, right? Correct. I would think so. Correct. I would, I would not yeah, expect anything. Yeah, but. yeah that, direct, that correct kind of, it, it hesitated before he came <laughs> out. I, I think he was, he was asking me, where else can I get my work done around here? Because uh, if the big guy is dressing this way, I don't know what else is going on. Hey, you, you got to have a fun time. And right. We have a fun time here right. at Majors, and, and hopefully, hopefully everyone has a great time while they're here and getting great service, great parts you know, uh, with it. And, and, we had originally talked about talking about stairs this time, but we'll wait because uh, Jeff was tied up with uh, an inventory. Uh, look, actually, sure. was looking up a part for for a customer, and as I look around the store, I even see. Look, you know what I? You know what I'm impressed with? I even see professionals from the industry, like That's this it. young man, who who gets his work done here. Yes. Come over here and tell yeah. me who you are. I'm Mark Attaway with Dometic, and I always bring my motorhome to Majors. They do all my service for me. Okay. And you're not here as a Dometic rep right now. You're I'm, here as I'm a customer. Here having some service done. Okay. And inspection okay. stickers and that kind of yep. thing? I bring it here for service because I know when they do it, I don't have to bring it back again to have it refixed. Okay. Oh, so Jeff is back. Here's yes, Jeff. Jeff. Mark, how are you? Good, Jeff. Good to see Jeff, you. Jeff, um, he was just making sure his display is fully stocked. Of course he was. <laughs> let's, go down, let's go down to that display. And Jeff, we'll talk about stairs next time. But let's go down to that display because Jeff had mentioned that your toilets are um, the best that are made. They are, and this is a, this is our older display. We do have a new display being uh, built. Being built for these guys. That, that uh, we'll be getting in here eventually, but... Some of the nice things about the Dometic toilet, not the Studio Thundermark, is a lot of the a lot of the toys in the industry they claim to be like your house or household toilets. Yeah, yeah, Very yeah. few of them are. These are actual yeah. full size bowl, just like you have at your house. They're porcelain. Yeah, yeah. knock on that so we can hear the sound. And that's got a different sound than a than a plastic. It sure yeah, does. It's not plastic. Easy yeah. to clean. It won't scratch like your plastic toilet the toilet will. Um, and the price point is fantastic. They they, they start at one ninety nine. Tough to beat that. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's shot around and looked at toilets, one ninety nine starting point for a ceramic toilet. It's tough to beat, and the quality is fantastic. It's made by Dometic. Yeah. And Mark, you also buy your own products. Tell us about the story that you just. Uh, you just told me out there you were at you were on vacation and well, you ran I, out of TP. I, I I use this paper here, which is ours. It's a recycled two ply paper, which is a really good paper. Yeah. And I went into a competitor's store down there, and they tried to sell me Thetford. Another brand. A different brand. 
and after I already had these on the counter to buy. Right, and you didn't have a Dometic <laughs> shirt on or anything. No, sir. But you let them know that uh, you got a better product. Did. Yep. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Hey, hey um, we people have, are spinning we, the wheel. What? We have another product over here that you should take a look at too. Oh, oh you see, he's yeah, he's and he's spot on. It's a brand new refrigerator by Dometic. Oh, look at that. This is a brand new model refrigerator. You can get it in either a six tube or an eight tube. Uh, it'll fit right in the same hole as a six or an eight. But this refrigerator. Yeah, what's the difference? This refrigerator does not use propane. Strictly 110 or 12 volt. Okay, so when you're not plugged in, what you can run it on 12 volt. And that runs off your car battery or your house batteries. Your house battery. Your house batteries. Yep. Okay. And it's a it's a compressor driven refrigerator as opposed to the absorption. So the compressor driven is going to get it colder quicker. Oh, okay. And it's going to get the freezer colder than the absorption would. Okay, and brand new. Brand new. Brand yep. new. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cause so the if you have an old six or an eight, you take that out, this will go right into the same hole. People are concerned with using up too much propane. Well, if I, if I could just add one other thing, Mark, I don't know if you know this. We took a refrigerator, it was room temperature, it was 70 degrees, we put a 12 volt battery, 27 series 12 volt battery on top of it, we hooked it up. Within two hours, the refrigerator was around zero degrees. That refrigerator ran for 48 hours on that battery, not plugged in nothing. We, had, we were closing for the weekend. At the 48 hours, that battery had 11.7 volts still left in it. Now we have the 48 hours of running. So basically what we're the talking about... The draw is very, very low. Well, well, really what we're talking about here is energy efficiency. Absolutely. Right? It's great for the people that are on a uh, permanent site, uh, seasonal site. Uh, okay. Okay. So now you're not using propane. You don't have to worry about getting your tanks filled. So basically what we could realize here is that... Uh, why don't we do this? For the next 20 that we sell, I'll give you a picture of me. And you can just slide it in right there. And that'll, that'll be the last 20 that we sell. The last 20 you sell. <laughs> that'll be the last of them that we we'll sell. Can we get you okay. the pictures of you out of the post office? With yes, yes, yeah, I know with the number down below. <laughs> okay. Jeff, tell us again where we're, tell us where we're located. We're at 150 MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne. We're right over the Bourne Bridge on Cape Cod, half a mile on the right-hand side. Okay, we should also say that uh, Mark will be gone by the time anybody comes down to see us this next. Lord, I hope so. Good Lord. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, John.